Our agent has put a lot of effort into addressing communication challenges in an underground environment. In a miner's daily activities, once underground, there's no longer any access to surface for the entire day. So if you don't have all your materials or communications up with surface, it really adds a, a huge challenge to a miner's day. Mines are looking for a solution to put surface applications underground. Without a high-speed network, you can't do it. Simple Wi-Fi doesn't really work because it's, it's blocked by equipment or a single point of failure. Putting in a Ragent mesh underground, you don't have that single point of failure. The Ragent wireless mesh technology allows us to actually extend wireless coverage into the working face of the mine, which is beyond the point of where the leaky feeder system stops. If you can keep that infrastructure in place, extend past your last fiber switch with the mesh, combine the two systems together, it gives you full mine communications as well as high-speed data, voice, video, right at the working phase. We're going to allow you to bring new technologies throughout the mine and leverage what you have already in place. With Ragen, we really looked at how do we do automation, how do we use people and equipment as part of the mesh, and then how do you keep your existing infrastructure? We are currently working at the NORCAT facility in Northern Ontario. We started off with installing the mesh network underground, then addressing the challenges. And one of them was power. We developed a coax backbone, and that gave us full Wi-Fi, high-speed internet underground. Anything you can do over the internet, you can now do it underground. With the wireless mesh installed underground, we were then able to start validating all the other applications. So the first one we did was a push to talk using voice over IP and a gateway that goes between voice over IP phones and the VHF system in the mine and gave us seamless communications between the two technologies. A person walking around with a VHF radio can talk from surface or anywhere underground throughout the network to a smartphone. What the Ragent network does by extending that coverage into that part of the mine allows the worker to always be in contact and improves efficiencies because now he's not walking back periodically to talk back to the mine supervisor, uh, other operations people. You get to use all these smartphone features underground where the workers are actually working. And then we went on to teleoperations with one of our partners and a client. We validated that we can do teleop over the Ragent Mesh Networks underground. We were able to instill confidence in the customer. They went right away to a proof of concept at the mine site. And we are now at the final stages. It is fully installed and in operation. The next testing we did was for precision time protocol. This is something that Ragent has put a lot of effort into. We're working with the micro seismic industry. Sensors monitoring ground movement require very, very accurate time stamping of the packets coming in. And we're talking uh, microseconds. We installed the gas monitoring here at NORCAT and verified that we can communicate with it and then send its information over the mesh up to surface. Having the Ragent network underground connected to all the sensors, we can detect emergencies sooner and then alert people sooner and on a larger scale. And this would make underground mining much safer. A big part of our solution for underground is having the breadcrumbs on the mobile equipment and extending the network or strengthening the network. If you can get that data off that machine in real time, I mean, that's a huge cost savings. You don't need all the separate networks. This is actually one network for all. We make things simple. Plug it in and your mesh will start communicating. Here at NORCAT, there's a lot of technologies that we're working with. They're adding their data and their solutions onto our network. Ragent's commitment to validating all these layers of technologies is what's going to finally allow us to automate underground.